Get ready to match the stars. Dick Martin, Brett Summer, Charles Nelson Ryan, Dee Dee Khan, Richard Dawson, and Patty Doyle as we play the star-studded big money match game 76. And now, here's the star of match game 76, Gene Rayburn. How do you do? How are you? Are you all right too? Okay. That's splendid. And are you all right? Uh -huh. I'm one. You all look grand. Really beautiful. Well, thank you. Some of us look a little better than That's others right. of us. <laughs> Beautiful. He looks now like a deranged okay. monk. All right, let's get over here and meet Gloria Cachet and Ida Smith. Yeah. Hello, ladies. How are you? How are you? Yeah. Now, Gloria's a current champ. She's won a couple of games, got 300 bucks. She's been challenged by Ida. The first game they played ended in a tie. Then we played a tiebreaker, and that ended in a tie. Now we're in another tiebreaker. She's had her question and matched every celebrity. So that means you got to go to work and do the oh. same thing, and we'll have another tiebreaker. Oh, I think so. And then another. And two. Here we go. One. Bing. Boing. This is the other half of the tiebreaker. Gloria, think carefully before you respond. After the Titanic struck the iceberg, the captain decided to learn how to blink. God. <laughs> After the Titanic struck the iceberg, the captain decided to learn how to blank. Good. All right. All right. Everybody ready? Yes. Put it in there. Here we go. Now, Gloria. Yes. After the Titanic struck the iceberg, the captain decided to learn how to swim. Swim. <laughs> The first time one of you does not say swim, the game is over. She's looking for swimmers. Well, I'm afraid it won't be me. Swim, it swim, is. Swim, yes, indeed. you said swim. Did say swim. That's one for her. She needs five more swimmers. Why, he's batting three or four for the whole week, isn't it? <laughs> Terrific. Uh, I said swim. That's two for her. Four, six to two. Charles? Even if I said to make frozen daiquiris, learn to, then the it game would be, be over. Well, of course it wouldn't be over. Yes, she said swim. Four, six to three. Debbie? No! Come here, Debbie. Dee Dee, Dee Dee. You gotta call me Debbie. That's better. I'm sorry. What's Debbie. wrong? Drive or navigate. So oh. that means Ida Smith wins the game. Swim and mix drinks. Come on down, Ida. Well, you hang around over here for a minute. We gotta talk to this lady and wish her well. And uh, hope she enjoys spending her money here. That she won on match game 76 and will remember us. Gloria Cliche. Goodbye, my dear. Here it is, Ida, your first chance at a big money payoff here. We polled a recent studio audience, and we got their best response to this. Bit blank. Now, the most popular answer that group gave will be worth $500 to you if you match it. If you match the middle one, or second most popular one, you get $250, and then the third one gets you $100, and you can get a little help from our celebrities. Richard? Bitter honey. Bitter honey. A bitter honey. Brett. I have two. Bit. Bit players. Bit players is one. Well, right? the other one wasn't so hot either. Charles? Bit by bit. Bit by bit. So there they are. Bit players, bit by bit, and bit of oh honey. Now, you might have a better idea that's occurred to you and want to submit that. No? One of those. Bit of honey. Bit of honey. I'm gonna go with Richard. Candy bar. That's a candy, candy bar, very yeah. famous candy bar. All right, bit of honey. Let's see if it's up there and where. That's the important question. Is it under the $100 number? Bits and pieces. 
Oh, they had a cool surprise oh, no. that pieces. day. Sand pieces. Yeah. Sand pieces. Yeah. Sand pieces. Bit sand pieces. <laughs> Got it in my teeth. It's stuck in a. Oh no, sir! It's a sand piece. Sand pieces. May we see the two hundred and fifty dollar number? Bit part. Yeah. That's what Brett play, had in mind. A bit yeah. player, a bit part, something like that. All right, they, last they, chance they, for Bit of Honey. Here is the five hundred dollar number. <laughs> bit of Honey. Congratulations, you got it. Very good. Okay. Well, wait a minute. You're up to six hundred dollars. <laughs> and more important, you're going to play for ten times that amount, or five thousand dollars. Whom do you call on over there to try and collect that amount of money? Richard. All right, Richard. Get your ESP going. Think about this, little lady, would you, Richard? Get your ESP I've going. I've done nothing else for the last ten minutes. Oh, Jane. I see. <laughs> I'm getting excited. <laughs> okay, my dear. Let's see. It's in the laps of the gods now. No, Richard. Oh, and Richard. It's in the laps of Richard now. Here God. we go. Worth five thousand. <laughs> County blank. County blank. That's C O U N T Y blank. Now he's finished, Ida. Tell us what answer you want to give us that'll match his county line. County line. <laughs> county line, turn and face your accuser. County line, he says, will match you for $5,000. What do you say? There's a lot. County line, county jail. I say county fair. County fair is a very good answer. San Bernardino have a big one. County Fair. Yeah, I hadn't thought of that, but that is quite good. County Cork. County Cork. Yes. Oh, there are a number of good ones here. Ida, you're up to $600, and a little bit later, you're going to meet another player. But right now, we've got this message for our viewers. Hello. Hello there. Are you ready to give a brisk round of applause to our new player, Mr. Craig Kincaid? Hello there. Hello. Now, Craig, we'd like to find out a little bit about you, where you're from and all that. I live in Manhattan Beach, and, and I uh, recently married, like to surf and ski a lot. Yeah? Work in a hardwood lumber company. Okay. You do downhill? Sure. Okay. You do uphill? <laughs> in the chair. Do you do windows? In the chair. Exactly. <laughs> you do windows. <laughs> you do. Okay. Good luck to Craig Kincaid. We'll begin by asking you to make a selection. Well, my middle initial is B. All right. B it is. Craig B. Kincaid. B for Barry. The Godfather said... Oh, a dialect. Said, <laughs> we just spent Christmas Eve at Vito's house. We didn't hang mistletoe. Instead, we hung blank. <laughs> just spent Christmas Eve. Just spent Christmas Eve at Vito's house. Vito. We didn't... Vito. Who is Vito, darling? It's a friend of the Godfather. Oh. Someone connected with the Godfather. Just spent Christmas Eve at Vito's house. We didn't hang mistletoe. Instead, we hung blank. Go to work, dummy. Oh. Darling, you mustn't. I'm an heiress. You have to keep that in mind. <laughs> Doesn't she look smashing today with that <laughs> waistcoat? It's my macho suit. Yeah, it's really beautiful. <laughs> my macho suit. My Burt Reynolds suit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We this is a very easy one. It is? Sure it is. I'm just trying to figure out some clever way to put it. Look at it. it now. Just look at it. I got it. <laughs> I love my answer. Yeah. <laughs> now, What's the Craig. Don't you have no taste? Godfather said, uh, I just spent Christmas Eve at Vito's house. We didn't hang mistletoe. Instead, we hung spaghetti. You don't know the Godfather. <laughs> you see the movie? Sure. Oh, all right. What do you say? I said they hung Vito. Right! <laughs> see, Craig, we tried to inject a touch of humor into the proceedings here. I you see. do understand I now, see. don't you? Yes, now I All understand. right, Craig. What? I don't care what anybody says. I still like my answer. I said we hung each other. Well, that's good, too. Very good. That's acceptable. Charles? Actually, it was they hung Vito's wife, Philomena. <laughs> Philomena. La bella ragazza. La bella donna. What do you say? Vito. Vito is the answer. No. Well, there were many good answers. There were good answers. Sure, good. not to mention the obvious. 
the obvious? I told you not to mention that. I'm sorry. <laughs> See, <it works. laughs> Vito is the Always answer. Work. Always works. What? The former Mrs. Vito. The former Mrs. Vito. That's a good one. He was looking for spaghetti and he got none. Now, a little pasta for zoo, but no spaghetti. Ida, you ready? Yeah. Hey. What? Hear about the new Gidget movie? No. Uh -huh. Want to hear about it? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Gidget movies. You love Gidget movies? Oh, I thought you said midget movies. No, Gidget. <laughs> Oh, no, I don't like Gidget. <laughs> Come on. I like the little people. Well, I'm going to tell you about it anyway. Oh, okay. It's a, in this Gidget movie, in this one, she's 102 years old. It's called Gidget Gets Blank. 102 years old. Gidget Gets Blank. <laughs> Your imagination is running away with you. Right. Now, take that to the bank and tell us. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> you haven't, have you written something yet? No, you, I don't get excited just because I'm a man. Oh, Wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm waiting. I don't feel there's any pressure on you, did he? Nope. Oh, look at those teeth. Don't they look real? Wow. <laughs> All right. Okay, here we go. Okay. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Ida, did you hear about the new Gidget movie? No. <laughs> well, I'm going to tell you about it. I've come to the right place. And this one, she's 102 years old. It's called Gidget Gets Blank. Old. Old? Old. <laughs> do you remember what I just said to him? I remember, yes. I was thinking That's hard so you wouldn't say it to me. Trying to do it with a touch of a modicum of gets... humor here. Oh, my dear. All right. What do you say? I said that Gidget got very wrinkled. <laughs> All right. What happened to you? The last Gidget movie I saw was called Gidget Gets the Pill. But then after that, she got glasses. <laughs> Gidget gets glasses at 102. Drank right, right out of the bottle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Until then. I told you not to mention it. I told you not to mention What do you say, child? Gidget gets hard arteries. Oh! oh. <laughs> Atherosclerosis, get thee behind me. Now, Dee Dee, what do you say? I saw the same movie. Uh, Gidget gets the pill, and then after the, about 102 years old, the pill wore off, and she got pregnant. <laughs> Yay! Okay. Gidget gets pregnant at the age of 102? Yeah. Why not? Subtitle of the film is just unlucky, I guess. Yes. <laughs> well, I saw the film. It's an excellent film. It is. Okay, she gets run over by a dune buggy. <laughs> well, Gidget gets aroused. <laughs> At 102, eh? Okay. <laughs> now we come to Patty. <laughs> Who's down there? <laughs> Patty. Late, uh, uh, at 102. At 102. Gidget gets lucky late in life. <laughs> Gidget gets lucky late in life. Yeah. All right, so there you are. There's round one. No score so far, but don't worry. We're going downhill from here. So hurry up and come back. Ready? Here we go. Round two coming up. A or B, Craig? B, I caught you by surprise, didn't yeah. I? Your mic was off. Uh, say it again. B. Okay. Ready? Yep. Ready. Yep. Go. Yep. Go ahead, write your answer. Oh. <laughs> Tex, <laughs> he says, Vito. Tex, the Texas millionaire, said, well, I'm so rich, I have two swimming pools. One to swim in and one to blank in. <laughs> That's how rich I am. I am rich. Here we go. Ready, ready, ready. Craig, text the Texas millionaires that I'm so rich I have two swimming pools, one to swim in and one to blank in. Bathe. Bathe. Okay. Bathe. Hmm. Interesting. 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 Weird. No, he is richer than that. He is. Yes, he's so rich he uses one to fish in. One to fish in. One to swim in, one to fish in. Yes. Yes. We don't swim in your john, so don't you tinkle in our pool. Oh. One to swim in, one to tinkle in. Charles? Wet. Wet. 
All right. Oh. Craig, are you catching on now? All right. A lot of answers here. Yeah, a lot of different answers. Yeah. What'd you say, Didi? I said Bane. Bane! Yeah. 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 Black? Yes, yeah. <laughs> What'd you say? Tinkle. Tinkle, tinkle, little star. Hello. That scans better than Wiz. Wiz, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Wiz. Well, her son does that a lot, you see. Yeah. Now, I don't. You know what you have to do? Big chore. Big chore. One to tie, two to win, right? Okay, here we go. Now, all of you here, gathered in this room on this day, know about Grauman's Chinese Theater where the stars put their footprints in cement. You're all familiar with that? Well, they just opened up a delicatessen next door. The stars go there and put their footprints in blank. <laughs> you understand? No? <laughs> if somebody doesn't do something about that music, I'm going yes. to kill myself. I tell you what, if you all uh, write your answers quickly, we will hear less of that music. Hurry up! And a boy, yes, sir! Everybody march around the breakfast table with Don McNeil. <laughs> Don McNeil. Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Everybody ready over there? Now, I'm going to give it to you slowly. You know about Grandma's Chinese Theater, where everybody, the stars put their footprints in cement? Well, they just opened up a delicatessen next door. The stars go there and put their footprints in blank. In the potato salad. In a potato salad. A delicatessen. Well, they do sell potato salad Sounds in a delicatessen. Good. I hope. I don't know what kind of an impression you'd make with that, but let's try. No, I would say it would be more logical that they would put their footprints in cream cheese. Cream cheese. A little cream cheese sculpture there. Brett? Obviously, Ida Smith did not change her name from something else. <laughs> I said pastrami. Pastrami? Okay. Charles? I went with chopped liver. Chopped liver is good. Very good. Ida Smith is looking for a little potato salad, Dee Dee. I was close with coleslaw. Coleslaw. How would you do that? Put your foot in coleslaw? What'd would, you say? Uh, live chopper. Uh, no, uh, chopper. chopper liver. liver. You must match the red-headed lady to stay in the game and achieve a tie. Go ahead, red-headed lady. I said marinated herring and sour cream. Marinated herring and sour cream, so Craig Kincaid wins the game. Funny, huh? Small world. Well, Ida, you will not leave here empty-handed. I'm happy about that. Thank you. Six hundred dollars for Ida Smith, Thank ladies and gentlemen. Goodbye, my dear. Thank you. Oh, well, you got a hundred. Let's see how much more you're gonna win here with the Big Buddy Super Match. We polled a recent studio audience, and we got their best response to this. Let's blank. Five hundred dollars if you match the answer they gave most often. Two fifty for the second most. Popular response and 100 for the third. Whom do you call her? Dee Dee. Dee Dee, what do you say? Fill in that blank. Let's blank. And just give us an oral response. Blah. <laughs> Blah. Blah. Let's go out. Let's go out? I don't mind if we do. Where do you want to go? What do you say? Another one? Richard. Let's make a deal. Yeah. Let's make a deal. Charles. Let's go. Wait a minute, honey. I, I got... Let's do it. Now, Charles, nice. say one, Charles, please. Charles, please Wait, say I, one. All right, look, say it, you know, please. man. Thank you. <laughs> let's dance. Okay. <laughs> let's dance. Let's go out. Let's make a deal. You want one of those? Make a deal. Let's make a yeah. deal. Let's find yeah. out if it's up there. May we see the $100 response. Let's dance. Yeah. Benny Goodman's old theme song. Thank you. Let's see if let's make a deal is under the $250 number. Let's go. That's, That's part of Dee Dee's number. Ahead. Now, last chance for Let's Make a Deal. Here's the $500 number. Yeah. Make a deal. Okay. Congratulations to you. We're going to stop right now here at this point and do a little business with America. And this is it. Pay attention. You were all wonderful. Gene Rayburn here. Join us next time for these terrific celebrities. Avery Shriver. Brett Summer, Charles Nelson Lally, Nancy Colt, Richard Dawson, and Joyce Dillavant. Goodbye from Match Game 76. <laughs>